the AFN Late Edition. Military and European news and the weather, but first. Tonight on Community Newsroom, Susterberg hosts an important visitor, and the post office helps fend off your creditors. Stay tuned. Welcome to Community Newsroom. Chief Master Sergeant Robert Bailey, the senior enlisted advisor for USAFE, is visiting Susterberg this week on his tour of European bases. He took time out of his trip to explain some recent changes in the NCO force structure and the PME system. After the Air Force deleted the E-4 sergeant rank, they saw a need to alter the PME. The NCO prep course and the NCO leadership school will disappear this summer, and the Airman Leadership School will take its place. And that will be for E-4s over four years of service or on a six-year commitment or who have re-enlisted, in other words, have committed themselves to the Air Force for more than the first term so that we are sure that we're getting a return on our money and that we're training those people that we're actually going to utilize in non-commissioned officer status. Chief Bailey talked to many airmen on base today, explaining how important the role was in Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm and how everyone in USAFE is grateful for their effort. And I believe that you should take great pride in the key role that you have played in that, whether or not you were deployed to one of the various locations in support of the operation or you were here at Schusterberg doing the things that we asked you to do on the home front uh, to support the most successful operation in Air Force history. Chief Bailey leaves for Volkel tomorrow morning as he heads back to Ramstein. It's no news that Desert Storm has slowed down our mail system, and we've had packages and letters arriving late since the war began. The post office is trying to do something about the delays, however. Airman Beth Sherman follows this report. You may pay your credit card bills on time, but with mail slowed down due to Desert Storm, you may find that harder to do. In some instances, you may get your bill after it was already due. Help can be found at the post office. And we'll check the date on it to uh, make sure that it was indeed a late bill because of the mail and not something that was uh, that you just forgot to pay. Uh, so we'll look at the date stamp and we'll give you a form letter that you can send to the creditor explaining the situation. Last month a form letter was drawn up for you to send to your creditors when you know your bill won't be paid on time. The form letter explains how the mail moves and why it's taking longer. When you pick up a late bill you can fill out the form letter with a postal worker. The post office is hoping that credit card companies will pay more attention to the factor overseas. The letter also suggests that creditors mail early to avoid problems. I think it's a real good system um, to help our customers, you know, being overseas, being in the kind of mail system that we're in, uh, the creditors need to understand. And I think it's, it's a system that's set up really to help our customers who are experiencing problems. In the long run, the creditor may understand the problem, and you can avoid late charges or even cancellation of your credit card. Reporting for the Community Newsroom, I'm Airman Beth Sherman. For space technology buffs serving in Europe, there haven't been many expositions to go to. Well, that changed in June of last year with the opening of the European Space Agency's Nordvik Space Expo. Tech Sergeant Frank Krebs stopped by and took a look around. As you drive up and get your first view of this building, it doesn't look like a chance to step into the world of space technology, but it is. As you enter the actual exhibition, you take a step back in time. We tell the story of space from the original uh, um, starting point in all old uh, civilizations up to the year uh, 2000 and further on, and we tell what went on in space, space uh, flight, space science and space technology. The exhibition is a combination of science, information, and entertainment that allows you to see up close what the European Space Agency is all about. That's not to say that the contributions of America and the USSR are forgotten. There's a full-size recreation of the first moon landing and several Russian displays. The job of the Nordvik exhibition is twofold as an information center in a museum-style setting and... ...serve as the official visitor center of uh, ESTEC. ESTEC being the European Research and Technology Center of ESA. And ESA is the European Space Agency. 
All of the exhibit placards are written in English and Dutch, making it a popular stop with the international schools. The Expo is working on translating their educational series into English to help make the Expo a fun, learning experience for young minds. Reporting from the Nordbike Space Exhibition in the Netherlands, I'm Air Force Sergeant Frank Krebs, AFN News. And that does it for tonight's Community Newsroom. I'm Sergeant Eric Whitmore. Good evening.